Hiya, buddy. Any luck finding my sprats? Yeah, man, I found them. Truly? Why, this is marvelous. And all safe and sound. Oh, Reginald, Philippa, Vonda, Haroon, Iskander, Evelyn. I'm never letting you out of my sight again. Please, take this. It's not much, but it's the best I can offer for the safe return of my darlings. Now, I've got to get back to the lab before my supervisor logs my absence. <laughs> Choose by... You, uh, you have fun at work. <laughs> I... I'm gonna find Papa to be some fancy clothes. So that she can finally go on her feet. Your best find this week. Go. Carol is someone else. I love Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture, enjoyment? Jolices. Haberdashery. I, uh, I probably butchered that. You with the hips over here. Let me take a closer look at you. Uh, of course. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Don't speak. Hold that posture for a moment while I admire you. You have a natural contraposto, my dear. The way you rest your weight against your hip. Suggest a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer. Splendid. I love it. Um, I'd like to tell you now that I'm already taken. <laughs> uh, you can tell that by the way I'm standing. Your walk, your posture, the cut of your clothes. You carry yourself with the bearing of a noble but you dress like a barbarian. How deliciously outré. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Really? What Byzantium needs is to be taken apart brick by brick. <laughs> Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Mm, sure. <laughs> Marvelous! You and I are gonna wake this city up like a cold splash of wine to the face! What I need is a survey of the outside world. What does the common laborer wear? How do the wild-eyed madmen of Monarch dress themselves? I've heard rumors, but I require samples. Also, I expect you to model for me. Um... What sort of uh, contract will I be signing in this modeling business? My dear, fashion is a performance art. An outfit without a body is like an instrument without a player. I'll need you to model for me the following. The apparel of an iconoclast, the armor of a marauder, and a full ensemble of spacer gear. Helmet included. And when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. None of that garbage spacer's choice pedals. Ooh. You have the bearing and demeanor of a born Spice's model. Choice getting You're going cold to absolutely eight. murder this job. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll say what I can do. Fabulous! I can't wait to see what you dredge up. My engineer is going on a date and she needs an outfit. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word, such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense, you're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Yeah, Pavati. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. 
materials, labor, licensing, and copyright. There. Copyright? 6,000 bits! Oh my god. <laughs> Fees for quote unquote licensing and copyright? Cut the bullshit. Show me a fair price. <laughs> She's an engineer. You think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Love? That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. 3,000, that's more like it. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. What? Um, okay. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Can I buy something? Uh, it didn't work. Did it not work? I can't wait to see those outfits. What can I do for you, darling? I want to buy something. Oh, thank you. Helmet. Elite Trooper. Ordnance Control Armor. The Refined Bison Knight. Full Plate Collection. Classic Wear Umbra. Riot Control Helmet. Riot Control Armor. Back to basics. Ooh, the aviator. Musician. Hey, I'll have one of those. Uh, streetwear. Vestments blue with piping. Colony ship uniform. Oh! <gasps> It's a captain's uniform. Sweet. What about you? Back to basics. Julio Sear. Leadership skills plus five. Intimidate plus five. I'll save those for later. Okay, let's get going. Um, Ellie, you wanted to chat with your parents? Let's go find them. Remember that stranger I saw in the square? You know, the one traveling with the rather filthy plumber? I thought we had auto mechs for that sort of thing. Enough! We're standing right here. <laughs> the one traveling with the rather filthy plumber? Pavati, I think he's trying to insult you. Hortensia you should kill him. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Soho. I noticed your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look. Maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. 
I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Is that so? Let's check it out. I don't know how I'd feel about drinking the Spectrum Vodka Violet. Whoa, hey, this place is really fancy. Marilyn, is that you? Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Mm, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for welcoming us into you. I'll just say hello. <laughs> Play the ruffian angle some more. You're supposed to help me make an impression. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Indeed, we've saved towns and restored property across Halcyon. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely dismantle Ellie. <laughs> Theft, vandalism, profanity, you name it, we've done it at least twice. Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. Don't treat her like that. She's come a long way to see you. I mean... We had other business in Byzantium, so it's not like we went out of our way. But you can't just kick us out. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. <laughs> Hold up, these floors aren't just nice. They're top quality marble. He's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. Oh no. <laughs> we thought you were dead. Oh no. <laughs> they took out a health insurance thingy on their daughter. <laughs> I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Why do I get the feeling you people are about to apologize for something? <laughs> we only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. Yep! And the payouts have been rather... Uh, substantial. substantial. <laughs> you what? <laughs> But I'm sure you're much happier now, knowing Ellie's alive and well, right? <laughs> of course. And we shall always harbor that joyful secret deep within our hearts. And you'll report it to the insurance company, right? It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. <laughs> Let's go, Ellie. We've got better things to do than hang around these two. Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ellie. 
let's let's go outside. <laughs> War of the words fizzles. Monarch Stellar Industries bluster dies with the whimper. What? Monarch Stellar Industries bluster dies with a whimper. Uh, why? Stella Industries. Was it thought? I can't even remember. A word, Captain? Yeah, sure, Ellie. What's on your mind? Can you? We've hardly been there a minute, and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. Uh. They shouldn't have gotten so upset them to get upset I just thought it would play out differently they'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas and then we'd walk in mother would drop her mock apple cider and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble father would tear off his glasses and blink open-mouthed <laughs> this is a very specific fantasy I'm getting to the good part. I'm sorry. I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either the leather's fake but the scars are real or oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? <laughs> How about it's payback time and I'm collecting the interest? <laughs> You've got a sense of drama, I'll give you that much. I'll consider that a compliment. Now, getting back to my story, father would throw his hands up because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. Chin up, man, you're better than this. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. Trust me, that's what's for the best. I'd love to know how you'd describe getting kneecapped. I think there's a lesson here, Ellie. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like we're in for a big talk. Uh, you can learn something from this. It's up to you to determine what that is. Can I just have a drink and punch some poor defenseless pillow instead? Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? Hey, <laughs> keep talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. <laughs> so, how do we do this? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Yeah! Let's do this. <laughs> We're gonna commit some fraud. <laughs> In the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed as always. And... I hope you enjoy the next video as well. Choose. Oh, right, I gotta talk to uh, Parvati as well. Parvati! Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can 